Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to include a date picker in your Excel worksheet. I'm going to show you two examples. The first one is from Sam Radakovich. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. And this is available as a download from his website. And you'll see how this works. You get a little date picker uh, next to your cell. You can select a date. You can also, if you right click down here, insert the date and time. You also get a calendar up on the ribbon. You can select a date there. If you right click down here, it will insert the date and time. It's an option also for a right click date picker, gives you that option. The second method uses an add in from the Microsoft Store. Uh, this is slightly different. You get a little calendar object that you can put on your sheet, click into a cell click on a date, it puts that date into the cell. So you can put the current time in the cell just by clicking on this little clock button there. Okay, so two slightly different methods. I'll show you how to download both methods, install them into Excel and how to use them. So let's look at Sam's solution. Sam is an employee of Microsoft. He heads up the Excel team. His solution will work for any version of Excel. And the first thing you need to do is pop over to his website. I'll leave a link to his website in the description of this video. In his website, what you want to do is scroll down and you'll see a link to download the date picker solution. So if you click on that, that'll download a zip file. If you open up that zip folder, what you want to do is copy that. Sam does give some suggestions in terms of where we install this solution and by all means, follow these instructions here but alternatively this is what you can do the first step would be to open up windows explorer and i've gone to the root of the c drive it doesn't really matter where you do this what you want to do is create a folder where you're going to save the date picker solution i'll right click here new folder and i'll call this excel startup folder go into that folder and paste in the date picker. Then what you want to do is go up to the address bar at the top here and copy that path. Then you can close down Windows Explorer. Next step is to go back into Excel. In Excel, go to File, Options, select Advanced, and then you have to scroll almost down to the bottom. Under General, you'll see an option at Startup, open all files in, paste in that path, click on OK, then close down Excel and then reopen it. And you can either create a blank workbook or open up an existing file. And what you should see if it's installed correctly is you have a date picker icon on the home tab of your ribbon. If at some point in the future, this icon doesn't appear on your ribbon, then you will need to change the permissions for Sam's date picker file. So I'll show you how to do that. In Windows Explorer, Go to your Excel startup folder, right click on Sam's date picker solution, go to properties, the general tab, in the security section, tick this unblock tick box here, click on OK. And then when you reopen Excel, you should find that your date picker icon appears on your ribbon. OK, let's see how we can use Sam's date picker. You'll notice that on the home tab, you have a new button, your date picker button. Now what you want to do is click in a cell and use his little button up here to select a date. The current date is shown with a colored background, so I'll put that date in. What you'll then notice is in cells underneath a cell that currently has a date in it, you'll get this little date picker button. So this only happens once you have a date in the column, otherwise it doesn't recognize the fact that this functionality needs to come to life. So if I click on this little button, I can then select a date. Another way of selecting a date would be to right click in a cell, choose your date picker up there, select a date. If you want the date and time, what you can do is click in a cell, go up to the date picker menu and choose this option here, date and time. Or what you can do is right click date picker, right click down here where it shows the date and time and that will insert the date and time as well. If I want to choose a date that's somewhat in the distant future. That's easy to do. Go to my little date picker button. If I want to change the month, I can click on the month name there and then choose a different month. If I want to choose a different year, click back on the button, 
click on the year there, choose a different year, and then I can navigate to the date I want to choose. Some other options in your menu up here, show on right click. If I untick that, it no longer appears in the menu. If I go up here and untick show in grid, then you'll notice that I no longer get that little date picker button next to my cells. Okay, that's just about all there is for Sam's date picker. Let's move on to the next solution. To install the second date picker we're going to look at, you need to show the developer tab on your ribbon. To get it to appear, right click on one of the other tabs, customize the ribbon, tick developer here. Then on the developer tab, you've got an add ins button. Click on that. You need to go to store there. Search, date picker. Press enter to search. There it is, click on add, click on continue. Now with this date picker, there are several little buttons down here that are quite useful. I'm going to actually decrease the size of this calendar. You can do that with this button here. You can also change the look of it by pressing this button. Just toggles through the different options. This one here changes the calendar system. I'm not interested in that here, this one's fine. You can also toggle week numbers on and off. You can see that down the side. And this just closes down the settings. Because this date picker will ultimately get in the way of your work, what I decided to do is house it within the first row of my worksheet. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to insert a row, increase the height of it, and move it up. And then I'm just going to resize it and place it up here for you. Okay, so once you've got it in the right position, you could freeze rows one and two so that you'll always see your date picker and the column headings in your data. To do that, I can just click in this cell here, go to the view tab on my ribbon, freeze panes, freeze panes. So now if I scroll up and down, I'll always see my date picker and the column headings in my data. Now with this date picker, you can always see the current date because it's got a colored background on it. If I wanted to record the current date, then I could just click on that button, it places it in the cell. If I want to record the current time, I click on this little clock button here. So on Sam's date picker, you weren't able to enter the current date and the current time in separate cells, they appeared together. To navigate through the months, you can just use this button up here, but it doesn't have such a sophisticated navigation option as Sam's solution did. Okay, but that's basically how this particular date picker works. When you create a new sheet to insert the date picker, go back to the developer tab, go to add ins, click on the date picker, click on add, and it will create another date picker object for you. By the way, another option for entering dates and times into your worksheet is to use couple of shortcut keys. The shortcut key for entering the current date is control semicolon. And the shortcut key for entering the current time is control shift semicolon. If you wanted the date and time together in one cell, it would be control semicolon space, control shift semicolon, press enter. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.